First question. On July 14, an investor goes short on a call option for 100 shares of CDM Corporation common stock with a strike price of $70, expiring on August 16, at an option premium of $3 per share. The market price of CDM on July 14 is $68. On August 16, the market price of CDM is now $75. How much has the investor gained or lost on the option transaction? Disregard broker commissions. Okay. I'll give you a few seconds to type your answers. Okay, enter your answers, please. Enter your answers, please, everyone. Okay, so in this problem, we are the short party for a call option. We are the short party for a call option. Meaning to say, we sold a call option. Always remember that it is the long party who will dictate whether the options will be exercised or not. Clear? Ah, sige. The exercise price is $70. Strike 70. The stock price is 75 by that date, August 16. May exercise ba ito? Oo, hindi. May exercise ba ito? Oo, hindi. Call option to. So the long party will have the right to buy at 70, one which is 75. The underlying assets price is 75. The buyer of the option can buy it for 70. Kikita siya ng 5. Tama? So, the long party will force to buy us at 70. Pwede niyang gawin yun kasi siya yung may hawak ng option. At tayo yung writer. Tayo yung short party. We are going to lose $5 from this transaction. Pakonsuelo, binenta natin yung option ng $3 per share. So, kumita naman tayo ng 3. We will net negative 2. 100 stocks are involved here. So there you go. That's a loss of $200. That's a loss of $200. The correct answer is letter dog. Okay. The correct answer is letter dog. Okay. So far, nakikita ko tama mga sagot nyo. Mukhang naintindihan nyo naman. Next question. On July 14, an investor goes short on a put option. 400 shares of OSC Inc. Common stock with a strike of 9, expiring on August 16 at an option premium, 150 per share. The market price of OSC on July 14 is $8. August 16, the market price of OSC is $6. How much has the investor gained or lost on the option transaction? Disregard any brokerage commissions involved. Okay? I'll give you a few seconds. Go. Enter your answers, please. Enter your answers, please.
Okay. This time, we are still the short party, but this is a put option. Try nga natin. The exercise price is $9. The stock price at August 16, $6 only. Kung sino man may hawak ng put option, siya yung long party, i-exercise niya ba ito? Will the long party exercise this? Yes or no? The answer is yes. Put options are right to sell. Rights to sell. So when one has a put option at $9 strike price, that party, the long party, will have the prerogative of selling it at 9 But since we are the short party, it will be used against us. The stock is only 6 but we are forced to buy it at 9 Bakit? Kasi tayo yung short party. 9 less 6 yung $3. Lugi natin. We lost $3. However, for consolation, we sold the option for $150. So our loss is only $150 net. Times 100 shares involved, negative $150. The correct answer is letter A. Loss of $150. Okay tayo? Mukhang naintindihan naman ng iba. No? So always remember that in a put option, this is a right to sell. Kapag sinabing put option, meron kang karapatang magbenta. Kung ikaw yung long party. The long party has the right to sell. So if the strike price is at 9, the stock price is at 6, the long party will definitely exercise this, forced to sell us at 9, although it's only worth 6. We as the short party, will suffer the consequence of losing $3. Consolation, kumita tayo ng $150 nung binenta natin yung option. Yun yung premium niya. Okay? So yung net loss natin, $150 times $100, $150 loss. The correct answer here is letter A. Maraming nagkamali, ha? Maraming nagkamali. Put option yan, ha? Put option yan. Letter A. Is everything clear? Do you agree? Okay, kung meron kayong tanong ha, kasi marami sa inyo sumagot ng C. Kung meron kayong tanong, please raise them anytime. Okay? Ah, sige. How about this one? On July 14, the investor goes Short on a call option for 100 shares. CDM Corporation, common stock with a strike price of 70. Expiring on August 16 at an option premium of $3 per share. The market price of CDM on July 14 is $68. On August 16, the market price of CDM is $65. So from 68, naging 65 na lang. How much has the investor gained or lost on the option transaction? Disregard brokerages. Okay, I'll give you a few seconds. Go. Okay, everybody, please enter your answers. Everybody, please enter your answers now. Everyone, please enter your answers now. Everyone. Tatnaba. Okay. Now, in this case, Instead of rising prices, bumagsak yung price ni CDM from 68 
to 65. So whoever the long party is will have the right to exercise at 70, buy the, buy the stock at 70, although the stock price is only 65. Excuse me? Kung ikaw yung long party, anong gagawin mo? Meron kang karapatang bilhin ng 70, pero yung stock price niyan ay 65. Kung ikaw yung long party, anong gagawin mo? Tandaan nyo, si long party may karapatan mag-exercise o hindi. E di wag i-exercise. Para hindi daw siya malugi, yung long party, hindi niya i-exercise. Okay? So the long party is not going to exercise. Hindi niya ibebent ah hindi niya bibilhin sa atin ng 70 yung worth 65 kasi siya yung may holder no siya yung holder ng option. Okay? So wala tayong gain. As the short party, the only consolation that we have is that we sold the option premium for we sold the option at a premium of $3. 3 times 100 that's a gain of 300. The correct answer is letter boy. The correct answer is letter boy. Okay? So, halo-halo yung mga sagot nyo, ha? You will gain $300 from this one. Okay lang? Ah, sige. So, praktisan nyo muna yung last three. Please practice the last three exercises. I think you still need more of the pra more practice. No?